What is going on Shadows of the Valiant Yard? Welcome back to another video. Today's video uh, was requested um, by somebody on my comment section. Um, this is a tutorial for how to use my Valyard Collections Mark 1 TARDIS exterior rigs for Minimator. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is showing you how you download it and how you import it into Minimator and then well, you can essentially figure out how to use it for your animations how you want, so that's how that's going to work. <coughs> so what you're going to do, if you, if you want to download this, you're going to want to go to this web link here. Obviously I won't make you type all of that out, I'll put that in the description. So you want to scroll down below the images here and click on this download link. It's going to take you to a Mediafire web page. And you just want to click that green download button there. Doesn't cost anything, it's absolutely free. Um, the only thing that I will request is when you use these models, please credit me, because I've already had people try and use it and claim it's theirs. It's it's really infuriating when people do that. So if you could just credit me in, in the description or in, at the end of the video, even if, if you just put my name in the corner, that's fine. As long as I'm credited, I don't mind. Um, so I'm I'm not going to download it because I've already got it downloaded in my files, which is here. So you're going to you're going to want to have some kind of extractor like Seven Zip or WinRAR. I currently have WinRAR installed, um, so you want to go ahead and extract that to the folder. and then here you have all the folders for the models so that's that's every single model that's currently available in the Mark 1 set from 2005 which is here to the Whitaker or 2018 TARDIS which is here so now you've got all these you want to remember this file path so this is my one and yours doesn't have to be in the downloads folder, it can be anywhere anywhere on your computer. And I'm going to fire up Minimator. Oh yeah, guys. Just uh, l let me know in the comment how um, how you think this mic is. I've got a brand new mic. Didn't cost much, but it should be better than my old one. Hopefully, took about a week to get here. So, let me know if it's an improvement from my old videos. If there is any public that I'm actually talking in. It's very rare these days. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new project. Obviously you can call yours what you want. So we've got a blank project. There's nothing in in the world. There's nothing on the timeline. Everything's the same. So the way you want to import these models is you want to click this icon up here and you want to navigate to where you extracted that folder so there's the zip file and then there is the folder then what you want to do is you, you want to decide which one you want so just for ease I'm going to go for the 2005 box and what you want to import is you want to import the dot my object file uh, if you can't see that there should be a setting I don't know where it is, I think you've got to do it via the folders. View, there you go, file name extensions is what you want. So if you can't see the dot my object, make sure that box is checked. And it should show up. So you want the 2005 exterior dot my object. And then open. It's going to take a second to load, but when it does, you see there's the exterior. It might not appear in front of you because you might have moved the camera around. So if you just kind of scan around, and there it is. 
So that's the 2005 box just to show you that everything works. So if I make this fancy graphics and then open the right door, that works. On the left. Now I know that a few of these boxes, for some reason, they don't have the alpha set, so that this, if you try and change the opacity, not scale, colour, nothing changes. So if this happens, what you've got to do is you've got to select these individual parts and then click the alpha box and then once you modify the alpha on that, they should all disappear like that. And that's how you make a neat animation as well, so there you go. So just to make sure they all do work. I'll import the rest of them so you can see how it's done. So there's the my object file. Oop, made it over the top. So there's the 2007 model. Just make sure, yep, that one works. Then you've got Bad Wolf again, my object. That's the same. Then you've got the Baraki from 1963. There's that one for some reason surprisingly taller than those ones, but yeah, so this, so this one as well, you're going to have to do the whole, whole um, alpha thing so you can make it disappear. And then you've got the second TARDIS, which is the Bradley box. I believe this should already have... Yep, there you go. If you get issues like this, where like the, right, the left door is disappearing more than the right door, you go down to graphics and just tweak that a bit. And then tweak that one so it fits. And do the same with the shell. Like that. And that should hopefully fix that, that issue. Okay. Got the Cushing TARDIS. Cushing dot my object. Put that over here. Okay, so that one needs adjusting. There you go. The uh, Hoodlin TARDIS, that's the movie TARDIS, this one. This one takes a second because it's a big file. There you go. Yeah, that one's all good. I knew this one would work because this is one of my favourite experiences. So, that's, a, that's something good if you didn't know anything about me. That's one of my favourite exteriors. But this one that's about to load is my favourite. And that's the uh, Newbury N3, used by Tom Baker. I believe... damn it. So it looks like you're going to have to do this on almost every TARDIS. I, I apologise for that. I thought I fixed that when I uploaded it. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, no, I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. Right, so... When this loads in... There we go. There's the Smith D box. And you see there's no keyframes down here. Why is that on? There we go. No keyframes down here for the Smith. You'll have to do this for it again. There we go. So I think that this... If you're a true Doctor Who fan, or if you've just watched Doctor Who and you remember this, 
uh, in series five, I think it's episode six, the doctor's wife, uh, an entity manages to take over the house. Or, sorry, the, the TARDIS. The, the entity is called the house. So what I, um, what I went and done is I got a bit of audio from the TV show. This won't get copyrighted because it's only a small clip. And, um, yeah. So let me just make sure. Yeah, those are all set. Let's see. Oh, hello. Right, let's, let's just put that back in the centre. There we go. And then I'll hide the rest of these. And that, that's how you create a, deep, a neat effect. So. That's how I make most of my effects, it's just the alpha. It's essentially what you want to do for everything really. Um leave that over there. So yeah, there's actually um there's two. There's two models to play with there. You've got the one without the animation and the one with. So then now we've got the TYJ, just reiterating dot my object file. Make sure that is the file you're actually picking and not the .json because if you import the .json you won't get the doors opening and god knows what else, so. Here's TYJ, used by the fifth doctor, that one works. And then the last one. This one for some reason is named shell.myobject. Um, I find it easier to rename it Whitaker so that when you import it you don't end up with a weird name. So that, yep, there's Shell. And then got here. Whitaker. And then that one should. Yeah, th this one's weird. I don't know why it did this. So. The thing that isn't working here is the shell windows drop down, the right door and right window, PTO door, PCB signs, left door, left window and lamp. And then you want to click the alpha, and there you go. Just like that. So that is how you import and you use my models. Excuse me. So that's pretty much everything. Um, if if this tutorial helped at all, please like the video, leave a comment. Um, actually, leave a comment saying what your favourite TARDIS is. Not out of my collection. Well, it can be out of my collection, but like what your favourite ex exterior model is out of the show, because I'd be quite interested to know what the favourite is. I know that this one's quite prop, uh, quite popular, the Davison Tardises. Um, but yeah, so that's that's been the bell, guys. I uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. See. Ya.